Seven things men love to hear in bed. As a woman, you know what you want your man to say to you in bed. You know what turns you on, what gets you going, what makes you want more. But do you really know what he wants to hear from you in bed? I'll give you a hint, it's rather different. So in this video, I'm going to give you seven things that men want to hear in bed, things that will turn them on and make them want more. I'm Kevin Anthony for Magnetize Your Man. I'm a certified sexologist, NLP practitioner, and sex, love, and relationship coach. And for over 10 years, I have been helping men, women, and couples have the relationship of their dreams and the best sex of their lives. Okay, I'm going to do my best to use approved words here on YouTube for this. But what I really want you to do in practice is to use the more common vernacular. So if I say the word penis today, I want you to use the C word. Got it? All right. The first thing men love to hear in bed is you have a gorgeous penis. Remember C word. I do want to say with all of these things, don't say them unless you really mean them. So if this isn't true for your particular man, just don't go there. Uh, we're not as dumb as many of you women believe, and we can generally tell if you're being truthful or not. It's like when a woman says, you have such a large penis, knowing that the overwhelming majority of men do not have large penises. Like, yeah, we, we know that you're lying. <laughs> but anyway, you have a gorgeous penis, remember C word. Um, that is something that all men love to hear. You know, when it's time to get in the bedroom and we take our clothes off and you see us there in our nakedness and you like what you see, it's a big turn on. Now, one thing that you'll notice throughout this video is that there's going to be a lot of focus on his penis. This is very different than the way we would approach it for a woman. In fact, if we were telling men what to say for women, we wouldn't tell them to focus so much on their vaginas, right, or their vulvas. For women, it would be better to expand outside of that and say a bunch of other things. That's a whole other video. But for men, we actually take a lot of pride in our penises. It's uh, something that's important to us, and it is a big turn on for us when you recognize that. Okay, number two, the second thing that men love to hear in bed is come over here and me. Yes, that's right. <laughs> now, if he's doing a really good job and he's getting you really turned on and really hot and heavy, there should be a point in which you are just like, get over here. If he's going down on, here, on you, you want to grab him and just pull him up and say, just get over here and me right and you know what i mean <laughs> that is something that is a huge huge turn on for us as men when we know that you really 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 want us to penetrate you it is a massive turn on so again this is something that uh, you really only want to say if you really mean it uh, and hopefully you've he's taken you to the point where you actually really 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 do want it Okay, number three is, I must have your penis, remember C word, now. This is another absolute massive turn on for a man. Maybe you're doing different foreplay. Maybe uh, he's going down on you, you're going down on him, whatever it is. When you turn to him and say, you have to have it now. It is a huge turn on. This will absolutely fire him up like, oh yeah, all right, baby, come on, let's go. <laughs> Number four is your penis, remember C word, feels so good. This is a way to let him know that what he's doing is working and that you're enjoying it and that it really does feel good to you. Now, again, don't say these things unless you actually mean it. If he's actually doing a good job and it actually does feel good, then let him know, voice that. 
You know, one of the things that I teach men a lot is how to pay attention, how to have awareness around what's really happening with his partner. And so he should be looking for visual cues. Are your cheeks getting red? Uh, are your labia getting swollen and gorged? Are they also uh, getting red or changing color? You know, are you uh, kind of squinting like, ooh, that, that's a little uncomfortable? Or, you know, are you really like have a huge smile on your face, right? There's lots of different things that a man can look for to make sure that what he's doing is actually working for you. However, a lot of men aren't that good at that practice yet. Uh, they're learning. Well, some of them are learning. So it's really helpful for you to verbalize and say, yes, it feels really good. I really like what you're doing. So, you, you know, there's a lot of different variations, obviously, of each one of these things. You know, I said, oh, your penis feels so good. But you could say, oh, that feels really good or I like what you're doing. Letting us know that what we are doing is working for you is a big turn on and something we definitely want to hear because it takes the guesswork out of it. Like there's so many times as a man we're like, I don't know, is she liking this? Is this working? Now, hopefully if he's doing a good job at looking at the other signs, he won't be uh, that confused about whether or not it's working. But sometimes women don't really give that many signs. And so it's really good to share that. All right, number five thing that men like to hear in bed. This one is, your penis tastes so good. So if you have been giving him oral sex, make sure that you let him know how much you are enjoying that. Now, <laughs> when I make these videos, I can hear some of the comments already. Before the video's even finished, I can hear what some of y'all are thinking. <laughs> some of you are thinking, it really doesn't taste good, or I wish he'd groom down there a little bit, or I wish he'd take a freaking shower. <laughs> if that's the case, then simply don't use this one. I would also suggest, if that's the case, that you find ways to gently inspire him to take better care of himself. The reality is, is that you should love the way your partner's penis looks, smells, tastes, feels. And if you don't, then you need to figure out how you can get him to shift that. Now, obviously, it's never a good idea in a relationship to say you stink or you taste horrible or foul or anything like that. But you can inspire him and say things like, you know, when you've showered before we make love, I just, for some reason, I just really want to go down on you. Or, oh, I really like it when, you know, you groom down there a little bit because it just makes it so much more pleasant. And I just, I just crave going down on you, right? Things like that to inspire him. Trust me, he'll hear it in that way. If you share those things and he's like, wait a minute, you mean if, if I just, just clean a little more and, and trim up a little bit more, you'll give me more blowjobs? Like, that is all the incentive most men need. So if, you know, your penis, remember C word, doesn't taste <laughs> that good, uh, then find ways to inspire him to make it better. All right, number six thing that men like to hear in bed, I want you to come all over me, inside me, in my mouth, whatever it is. Huge, huge turn on. However, I will caution you, do not say this until you are actually ready for him to ejaculate. It is a big turn on when most men hear this, it's going to, if especially if they're close to their edge, it's probably going to send them over their edge into ejaculation. So you don't want to go there until you are ready. So in other words, you've been making love for long enough. You've had at least one orgasm, maybe a few orgasms. You are feeling uh, very satisfied in that moment and you are potentially craving him to ejaculate. Then you can tell him. And the number seven thing that men like to hear in bed is nobody has ever f me like that. Yep, that is correct. Now, again, if somebody has, 
or even better, and this is not true or genuine for you, then don't say that. But you could find another variation. There has to be something that he does well that maybe nobody else has ever done quite that way for you before. So find one of those things and simply say it. You know, it's super motivating for us as men when we get compliments about the things that we're doing. That inspires us to do more of the things that you like and less of the things you don't like. It's really rather simple. We work much better with praise than we do criticism, and I think that's honestly true for both men and women. So find something that he does well and tell him about it. So there you go. Those are seven things that men like to hear in bed. They're pretty sexy. I think I did a pretty good job of telling you what I wanted to share with you without using the words I'm not really supposed to say, but remember, use the common vernacular. It's perfectly okay to be as raunchy and dirty as you want with us men. We love it. In fact, we crave it to some extent. It really does turn us on. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you can't also say things in a less raunchy way. We will like that too, but there's nothing wrong with going there with some of the words I'm not supposed to say here on YouTube. Next, if you would like to find more from me, you can check out my YouTube channel right here at Kevin and Celine. You can also listen to the Love Lab podcast right here on YouTube or on any major podcast platform. And if you go to kevinandceline.com forward slash vault, you can sign up for a free library of sex, love, and relationship content. There's all kinds of stuff in there to help support your relationship and your sex life. The link for that will be in the description below. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.